Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. Been a while. Figured I'd make just a regular old video. Um, it's not swelteringly hot today out in uh, the West Parlor at Gray Manor. And uh, I've already shipped boxes today. Had the day off work. Had a doctor's appointment and it was daddy's day at the elementary school for my youngest two kiddos. So I just took the whole day off instead of working two or three hours or whatever. But uh, got my shipping done early and uh, thankfully the weather's good enough. I could come out here and enjoy a pipe without sweating profusely. And uh, really enjoying myself out here in the west parlor at gray manor today i'm smoking the one of the cheapest pipes you can buy uh it's the missouri meerschaum uh missouri pride it's an unfinished bowl i've had this one for some time but i haven't smoked it a lot maybe 20 times or so still enough to burn the rim uh, that's my trademark and uh i just got bored one day and used a purple marker to <laughs> to color the shank. I am using one of these um, six millimeter white elephant charcoal filters. And it's working out pretty well. I have had some complaints y'all about the um, six millimeter charcoal filters for, uh, from white elephant being constrictive. And I did mention in my presentation video, yeah, they're a little constrictive, but it, 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 to me, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as a constricted cigar, certainly. Mm. But somewhere, you know, a little more constrictive than the nine millimeter charcoal versions. Oh, in it, I'm smoking the very last of Cornell and Deal's Lunchtime Blues. Now, I think I mentioned a few videos back that I was smoking through this uh, tin, and yes, it's taken me that long to smoke through it. Because I just would come back to it every now and then, because it, it really didn't strike me. It was kind of a eh, kind of blase affair, but it has grown on me, as the Cornell and Deals tend to do. Um, that whole series, the, uh, the uh, what's it called? I can't remember, the, the Working Man series, I think it is hasn't really sold well for me and hasn't really bowled me over yet. Although I have a few that I haven't tried yet. Uh, Five o'clock shadow and happy hour and midnight drive. Um, so for now, um, I'm just selling out of them. But if these other blends uh, rock my world when I get to them to try them personally, I might start uh, selling them again. But uh, I kind of bought the whole series because I liked the 10 art and, you know, I had tried a couple of them and they were pretty good. But um, I would really prefer to only carry stuff that um, I can personally recommend, hey, I've smoked this. So I'm going to put, the, put a hold on uh, the Working Man series for now. Um, what else? I'm filming this with a new camera, so, or a new phone, so hopefully, uh, hopefully the sound turns out better than, uh, my previous two phones. We shall see. Um, what else was I going to mention? Oh, okay, so the big news. Um, your boy Eddie was on Country Squire Radio this past week. Uh, so, 
If you're not familiar with Country Squire Radio, uh, JD and Bo, John David and Bo, um, put on Country Squire Radio from the Country Squire in Mississippi. It's one of the one of the better uh, pipe smoking podcasts, and uh, you know they they really click well both on camera and in audio form. Um, they're really good co-hosts, and they cover a wide range of topics. Well. Uh, they started a series on the YTPC, kind of a YTPC uh, spotlight, and for some reason, Bo called me, and uh, I got to represent the YTPC um, first out of the gate, which is amazing, but it also made me feel kind of bad because I haven't been making regular content lately. So uh, my apologies as to that. But you know... Moving into the fall and winter months, you'll be seeing a lot more of me on camera, I'm sure. In, in Pensacola, and that's where I live, in the Pensacola, Florida area, this time of the year, it, it, it's like summer lasts six months. And, you know, fall might last two months, if that, maybe six weeks. And then, you know, winter lasts a couple, three months. Spring will last like a month, <laughs> and then we're back to summer. So, I don't know, it really does seem like summer just lingers on. It starts way too early and just lingers the heck on. And, uh, the West Parlor being such as it is, unair conditioned, uh, it's just tough to sit out here and smoke a pipe, you know and make, make videos. But anyway, um, if you haven't ever listened to uh, Country Squire Radio, look it up. Um, it's Country Squire, S-Q-U-I-R-E, Radio. Country Squire Radio. Look them up wherever fine podcasts are available. Um, I know I listen to it on Google Play Music on my uh, laptop. I don't think podcasts are available through the app for Google Play Music, um, but it is available on their on the website. Um, and you can just YouTube or you can just Google uh, Country Squire Radio, and their page will come up, and uh, you can listen to the podcast right from there. I, I'm pretty sure on, they're on Spotify now. I'm sure they're on iTunes. Um, so there you go. Look for them, and uh, if you're longtime listeners, then uh, you'll get a pleasant surprise to hear old Eddie Gray on the Country Squire radio. Now, I have the echo, uh, ever-present echo, out here in Gray Manor because I uh, did the, the interview out here. So my apologies as to that. I was hoping the audio would be a little better. It's slightly better than a phone uh, interview. but not much better. So anyway, that is what has been shaken down here in Gray Manor. I think we'll leave it at that. Glad y'all got to see me. We'll chat with you later.